Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Castlevania Symphony of the Night. On the last episode, we defeated Scylla, we explored the underground caverns a bit, and on this episode we are going to explore the rest of the underground caverns, so hopefully we'll have a little bit of fun here. And by the way, you can do this. Now we'll not get injured, so that's pretty cool. Sorry about the audio there, looks like it wants to go too crazy here. Wants to go to crazy town. Screw you guys. I am going to do a little bit of map marking here. I still kind of have like water gravity or whatever it is. Underwater gravity, kind of like Super Metroid. But there were only a way to get rid of that, but honestly, there's not. I'm just going to have to deal with it. It's not too terrible. Of course, the problem is you can't be a bat underwater. Or you, you can't turn into mist. You do a uh, You can turn into a wolf, though. So. Let's see what's up here. An onyx. That's useful. Oh, come on, you silly. Got a life max up here, that's good. And our map is looking. Ah, shh, I forgot something. <laughs> Sorry about that. We'll be okay. We didn't eat up too much into the time. There'll be other places later that are much worse than that annoying square. We got that over there. There's an area over here we didn't get. Make sure we get that. Sometimes you kind of have to walk along the edge. And that gets that. And then there's going to be something under here. A knuckle duster, and I'll show that in a second. Let me get above water. Equip. Knuckle duster. Iron studded brass knuckles. Nothing to really show off there. If it's a weaker weapon, there's no point. I do think they kind of anticipate you getting that weapon when you're a lot weaker. But honestly, we're okay. It's gonna be a little bit more map marking we're gonna have to do. Ah, come on, this stupid color card. Well, he's not stupid. I'm going to blame my excuses on something else, you know, obviously I'm being a poor player, so let me blame it on the video game. Just like a good video game player would do. It's like being a musician, you know, you make a mistake and you blame it on the instrument. You kind of look at the instrument funny, like, gee, how did this happen? Obviously the instrument that I missed not the reason why I missed the note. Every, every amateur musician has done that. Oh, this guy isn't too bad. Look at that, I'm dealing 74 damage to that guy. Fish heads. Fish heads. Fish heads. I could make a reference to that, couldn't I? Fish heads. Fish heads. Fish heads. Fish heads. Fish heads. Fish heads, fish heads, fish heads, fully, fully fish heads. There we go. Make sure I covered that. If there were no items in this area, it would be kind of silly to point this out or show this off, but since there are items here, I have to show it off. I can't really speed through it. Froggies. You know, frog backwards is poor. But you didn't know that. Oh, come on, fish heads. When you're at this level, the fish heads are really easy. But if you're weaker, they're kind of difficult. That's pretty neat. Life max up. Alright, we're good there. Ok, 
Okay, we could go left, or we could go down. Now, which way are we going to go? Well, let's have some fun and let's go this way. You guys don't want to see nothing but map mark anyways. Now we're at the abandoned mine. This is really fun. It's really ominous, isn't it? Oh, what are we going to face here? Holy water, I'll take that. We've got a money. We've got a unit of money. It's a save point. Why would we possibly need a save point here? What's going on here? Come on. This guy's easy, just duck. I remember he's got kind of an attack here. And you can kind of use your shield, I guess. The shield doesn't really help. Oh, come on. This guy's really easy. I made him look a lot harder than he is. Just duck, he can't attack you. And there you have it. Cerberarius is done. So we can life max up and head east. Hmm, we can't really access that, can we? Well, we'll get to it later, I'm sure. Surely that's got something to do with something. I'm gonna keep the axe out now. Now we're getting to some more difficult enemies. Isn't that lovely? I don't really care to deal with those guys right now. Those ladies. Oh, this is really annoying. These gremlins. Ah. You're going to learn to love these guys. Eventually, the fire will go away. But whatever. I'm going to go this way first. Here we have a teleporter, which is good to know. Let's go back to where we want to go. Where we should go. Whoopsie. So that's good to know we've got this teleporter here. There's actually an area in Orox's quarters I haven't gotten to just yet. I could probably show that off. I'm going to do it later. I'm going to use Bat a little bit more. And we're not there yet. And down we go. Aren't you glad they put a teleporter down here? If not, it would have taken ages to get back here. So, yeah. I really don't like these gremlins. They're worse than the flea men. But at least they can be attacked. Um, what was this way? I think this is a save point. I hope it's not a save point, because then it's... I forgot about this. The demon card. This is what we're going to need later. I'll show this off. Oops. I hope I didn't put on the knuck knuckle duster. That doesn't do good. Alright, relics. The demon card. Someone's a devil familiar. Let's see what he does. He's not really that useful right now. He will be in a second. I mean, it's kind of odd they give you this item right here, isn't it? I mean, of all the items to give, why are they giving us this item? Oops. Let's go this way. Hello, witchy lady. Witchy woman. The 
The gremlin will fight for you too. Hmm, a switch. Why don't I press it and see? Thanks for the exposition there, gremlin. Why don't I press it and see? I, oh, gee, I wonder what it is. Oh, I love these guys. Just thorn weeds, but I think we faced these guys before. They're easy. Just don't let them get really big, if you know what I mean. Just kill them while they're little. Like this guy right here. With the naked lady in it, the Venus weed. Naked lady weed. Now we're getting some enemies that are really starting to die. Damage them. I want to get rid of this lady. This lady's got a lot of HP, doesn't she? Oh, come on. There we go. She really got rid of my HP, didn't she? I should have probably strategized that somehow, but I didn't. Right here, got the Ring of Aries and has a 24 by it. Gee, I wonder what it does. Let's take a look, see, why don't we? Okay. Now we got the Moonstone. Ring of Aries increases our attack power by. 24, which is, well, something like that. It increases our attack power, confers strength to 24 men, it doesn't increase it by 24, rather it increases it by another number. Um, it's like, I don't, I don't, I'm too tired to do the math right now. Um, no, it does increase our strength quite a bit, our attack quite a bit. Constitution goes down, intelligence goes down, luck goes down, defense goes down to nothing. So honestly, I think it's kind of pointless. And I think it's silly to use it. I'm gonna skip past this Venus Blossom. The lady with a naked lady in it. That's like the third thing with a naked lady in this, besides Maria who doesn't wear pants, and Succubus who doesn't look like she had anything from the waist down. But if you go for that, that's what you go for. I prefer real people. Real women. So I don't know. Cartoons don't do it for me. Yay! Crap, I got the crystal. Whatever. Where do we want to go now? Um... I'm gonna go somewhere else. Ah, I hate these stupid gremlins. Let's just go down. I could have gotten a shiitake mushroom there, but I really don't feel like it. It's pointless. Now if we go this way, I said if we go this way, get a Karma Coin and a Combat Knife. I'll show you what those are. Karma Coin, coins with two effects. Um, it increases your attack power, so that's pretty good. Uh, it's a single use item. Uh, it increases your attack power there. Um, doesn't seem really useful to me for now. We're not going to use it. This is a Combat Knife. You know, it increases our attack power a bit. Well, I don't know if that's good enough. Now let's try it for a little while. Kind of like the Holy Sword, though. Let's see what's down here. Another door! Really in the deep areas now. Thank you, I got the axe back. Now we're in the catacombs. Now if we go this way, I'll show you this a little bit. It's a save point. Which is useful, but I don't want to go there. there. Well, actually, I'm at 15 minutes, so I think this is a good enough spot to save. So, what I'm going to do is going to go ahead and stop right here. And on the next episode, we'll explore the underground caverns a little bit more. And see what is down here that could possibly cause us mischief. So thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye-bye.